Hi all of you awesome scuba divers out there, welcome to Scuba Dive Magazine, your favourite place for the latest scuba diving news and gear reviews. The very first piece of kit that every diver and snorkeler should own of their very own is a decent mask. A cheap bad mask is just going to mean that you're going to have a bad experience in the water. Uh, in fact, you can actually buy the most expensive mask out there and still have a pretty bad experience if the mask doesn't fit you properly. Mask fit is always more important than any other feature on a mask. But that being said, if you feel a little bit dazzled by the different designs out there, because there's a lot of masks out there, I've picked 10 of my favorite masks on the market right now. To start off the list, we have a brand new mask that was only announced the other day from Aqualung, extending their Reveal range of diving masks with the Reveal Ultra Fit mask. The Ultra Fit is so named because the skirt comes in three different sizes for different face sizes and shapes, so you're guaranteed to find a size that fits you. It also has removable lenses, which usually means that you can fit prescription lenses. Um, I'm writing this before they've actually mentioned prescription lenses. I couldn't find any reference to it on their website. Uh, they just talk about how easy it is to change the lenses. Um, but other than cleaning, the only real reason that you would want to be able to change the lenses is to fit prescription lenses, um, or maybe they're releasing some kind of UV treated lenses later on. Don't know, that's all speculation. Either way, I'm excited to try out the Reveal Ultra Fit, uh, mainly because of those different skirt sizes, but yeah, it's also quite a nice feature to be able to disassemble your mask so you can clean it between dives. I know Apex released the VX2 mask not that long ago, but there's something about the VX1 that ticks every box for me. It's a frameless design, which I tend to prefer anyway because they sit a little bit closer to the face for a wider field of view and they fold completely flat. So when you're storing it and transporting it, it's a little bit easier and you're less likely to damage it. It's the little things with the VX1, like the barrel in the buckles in each side are made from metal instead of plastic, so they're gonna last much longer. And they give you a really strong mounting point if you wanna fit a fabric strap like this. Two lens options on the VX1, the standard pure clear lens, which is a solid all-rounder, and you have the UV cut to protect your eyes in brighter waters. That and a range of color options from a classic black, most masks will come in black, a dark gray, like a gunmetal gray, which is pretty cool, a white and an orange. Um, I know the orange is a bit bright, but I do like a flash of orange from time to time. Atomic make a range of premium diving masks and they are all very nice to wear. And whilst the Venom Frameless may not be their top tier mask, uh, it's my personal favorite. Uh, let's start with the glass. The Venom Frameless has Scott Super White Ultra Clear glass for better light transmission through compared to standard tempered glass that you find on most masks. The skirt is the next really cool feature. Around your face, they use a softer silicone, which is a nice chunky, cushiony profile to gently mold around your face without needing to pull the mask particularly tight on your face. It just sits and creates a nice even seal without putting too much force on your face. Huge lenses also give you a really wide field of view and the frameless design pulls the lenses a little bit closer so you get the benefits of a pretty large mask with a relatively small volume on the inside. Another mask that isn't strictly their fanciest mask, I love the Mara's i3 mask. The i3 is the first on the list to have side windows on either side, which really do open up your field of view either side of you. This means that you can kind of subconsciously know where your buddy is beside you without needing to physically turn your head to see. You can kind of see them in your peripheral vision where on most masks, you just have a bit of frame or the skirting, you have a glass panel so you can see. It can't help much if they're sat above or behind you, but you can just see more in a single snapshot when you're in the water. 
It's one of Mars' more budget masks as well, so you're saving a bit of money. Sure, some of the others have fancier silicone and some clever features, but the i3 is a nice humble mask with one of the best fields of view out there at a budget price point. And if you get one with a clear skirt like this one, you can also see shapes and shadows through the actual silicone skirt, so you do get a really wide field of view. Google Pro has always made nice masks with a stylish flair, and I like their Synergy Twin mask. Uh, this is actually my wife's diving mask, and the reason she loves it is the, um, and myself included, uh, is this true fit skirt. The problem with silicone skirts on masks is that if you make them soft and thin to mold around any face shape, they then collapse, and your mask can kind of flop on your face because it's too thin. If you make the silicone skirt thick, then they can leak on some face shapes because they're not molding around the different contours of your face. So if you have more pronounced temples and cheekbones, then it can displace a thicker skirt. So what Scuba Pro have done is effectively rib the skirt so that it can mold around any face shape or bone structure for a good seal whilst keeping the shape of the mask. This mask is the older design with the standard silicone strap. The new version actually has Scuba Pro's Comfort Strap that's a bit stronger than a standard strap, especially if it's cut. Uh, it can withstand that, whereas a silicone strap will just cut through. A fabric strap is just gonna last. And you don't need to worry about tangling your hair in the buckle. Silicone mask straps can get a little bit tangly if you've got longer hair, whereas with a Comfort Strap, aptly named, uh, they're much nicer on your hair. Xdeep are best known for their buoyancy solutions, but they also have an exceptionally good diving mask that I don't think has like an official name. Uh, but personally, I just call it the Radical because the webpage has Radical in bold right at the top of it, but I think they just call it the Frameless Mask. As the name suggests, another frameless mask, but the USP here is the large nose pocket and the lens shape. If you have a petite nose, then you can count yourself lucky because you can fit most masks. Uh, it can be challenging if you do have a larger nose to find a mask that will fit comfortably. That's where the large nose pocket makes this much more comfortable. The lens shape has been opened up in key areas where you normally start to see the skirt on the inside whilst you're in the water. It's opened up to mimic your natural field of view. Nothing overly flashy with this mask. It just gets the job done. Comes in two colors, the standard matte black, and it also comes in a clear color to let lots of light in as well. The Cressy Quantum mask has a very unique feature that you won't find on many other masks, especially if they're not Cressy masks, and that's an anti-fog two-fold skirt design. One of the main problems with diving masks when you're in the water is the lens is fogging up during the dive, and the Quantum has two features to combat fogging. The first is an internal seal that seals around your nose on the inside of the mask so that the warm, humid air that comes out of your nose when you equalize your mask, it doesn't flood straight over the lenses. And the second is a heat exchanger built into the skirt itself, similar to a heat exchanger on a regulator, but kind of in the other direction. It's trying to cool down the, the ambient temperature inside of the mask. So these ribs increase the surface area of the mask to cool that space inside the mask so that any moisture is less likely to condense on the lens. And I've tried these masks before without any kind of pre-treating straight out of the box um, just put them on breathe out through your nose and try to make them fog up and it's surprisingly hard to make them fog up Fourth Element shocked the dive industry by venturing into the mask and fin market a few years back, and the Seeker is their newest design. Two lens options, uh, what Fourth Element calls Clarity, which is a glass lens with fewer impurities, so similar to the Atomic and the Apex. It's, it's just a, a good all-rounder. It's very popular with photographers because it's just it, what you see is what you get. The contrast lens, 
provides a full UVA and UVB protection from harmful ultraviolet light, which can damage your retina. One of the nice features is the case that comes with the mask itself. The Seeker has a half shell EVA case, so you don't need to carry the, the standard clunky plastic case that comes with most masks around with you, but your mask is still protected. You can even fit the actual case with the mask inside in some foot pockets. Otherwise, the Seeker has been made to fit most face shapes and really maximize your field of view uh, with these kind of eyebrow sections and a stylish skirt design. One of Tusa's fancier masks, the Paragon, comes in a single lens version, but I actually prefer the twin lens version because whilst both have a UV protective lens that cuts out harmful UV light to protect your eyes, with the twin lens Paragon, you can actually remove those lenses. Now, I know that seems like a kind of silly feature, but if you need corrective lenses, it's great. But normally, if you need prescription lenses, uh, you don't keep that, uh, that UV protection. You just get a standard glass lens with your prescription in it. But Tusa have created a separate range of prescription lenses with that UV protection, so you get the best of both worlds. The rest of the mask is awesome also. The Tusa skirt has their signature design, which I often find is very universal. It was always rare that a diver doesn't find a Tusa mask that fits them. And the Paragon has little metal inserts in the frame for strength to resist twisting and damage. Finally, I have to go to a timeless classic. Uh, I love the, the classic square frame of the Scuba Pro frameless mask. And Scuba Pro has a larger version that they call the Gorilla. If you're like me and you have a larger face shape, then some masks can look a little bit odd on your face and may not fit properly. So the Gorilla version is just that little bit wider. I've always been impressed by the field of view of square masks. And unlike some of the more flamboyant mask designs out there today that some can make you look like a Batman villain. The frameless hasn't really changed design in decades and it still looks great on any diver. So those were my favorite masks at the start of 2024, but which mask are you rocking right now? Or which mask do you have your eyes on? Uh, let us know down in the comments below and remember to check out our website, scubadivermag.com and think about a magazine subscription. Uh, we have both digital and physical magazine subscriptions, or if you want to subscribe to something for free, uh, you can of course subscribe to the channel here on YouTube. Thank you for watching everybody. And of course, safe diving.